I think that until that perception, China is the enemy, fades away, it's going to be very hard. I always just wonder why it is, you know, that people, when they hear about Chinese over in the UK, they always have this fear that they're programmed, that they're brainwashed, that they're not free. And actually, from my experience, from the people I've met, most of the young Chinese people here, they're very happy, they feel very free. And it's, it's just such a shame, it breaks my heart. You know, for example, when somebody says, okay, I'm, I'm from Japan, I'm from Korea, and I love my country. When someone says it about China, that I love my country, I love being Chinese, there's always this sort of mm, and a pinch of salt with which Westerners sort of hear this and they don't understand that actually maybe free to them is not the same as free to us, you know. Maybe parents here want their kids to be free to post what they want on social media, but maybe parents in China want their kids to be free to, you know, walk down the street and not get mugged or, or you know, get addicted to coke or something like that. There's, there's different ways and different senses of what being free means and so I think that until that fear of China as this body and this machine fades away, which is going to take a lot of hard work and can't come overnight. Until that happens, it's going to be tricky. But hopefully, you know, people can do positive things and just get together, open dialogues, and hopefully we'll see change. But I think it'll be a slow process. 快来订阅通识，按旁边小铃铛给我们点赞和分享哦。如果有什么想说的，也欢迎在下面多多留言呀。